Ghost Pretty here, welcome back to Farming Valley. Here we are for another episode. Um, I've done a little bit of farming as you can see, we're up to day 9 in autumn now. It's having a bit of a... God, I hate having these things here. I'm having a bit of a look around, just to make sure there's nothing spawning, and I just ran over a... Oh. Let me get that out of there, I just ran over a torch. I'll put them back. Um, we did make a fishing hole just there, as you can see. Um, I've had a lot of creepers coming through and they're being, oh, let's say, wreaking havoc and they're really driving me nuts. It's really frustrating, so I've got to fill these holes back in and put some more torches down. Um, I hope I can stop, stop getting things from spawning, you know, it's just getting annoying. Can I put one on top? I don't think I can. Right, let's put one back here, I guess. Um, I've been trying to set put torches everywhere I can think of. They've broken our lamp up here. Ah. All right, keep filling these in. We have to go and check on our crops again. I've sold we two lots of sweet potatoes. I've sold some carrots. Um, I'm not sure what else we've sold so far, but sold a little bit. Alright, come back through here. We have we have some eggplant ready to go. Um, look in here. No, nothing in there ready to go, but we do need to water it, so let's get on in and start watering. Said so one of the downfalls to having a greenhouse when it's raining is the crops don't automatically get watered. Be nice to have the ability oh there's a couple here that Either I didn't harvest or they grew late. Not sure. I did have a zombie drop on one of those crops, and I also did um, punch one of those crops accidentally. That's not very helpful. Um, over here, I don't know what happened here, but these guys just completely died. Zombies jumped on there. Now, what are these wheat seeds? Some of these aren't wet. Is that because of the trees? It could be because of the trees, which is quite interesting. Right, um, actually they're not ready to harvest yet. I thought they were ready to go, but not yet. Right, so one thing I did do is I got a new pickaxe. I've got, I'm breaking three, efficiency four, fortune three, auto smelt, which is amazing. It is really, really good. It helps out a lot. Right, let's have some food. Perfect. Um, I think I want to let's grab our bike. I don't want to leave it behind. Head into here. See Denaru. Um, so one thing I want to do is actually put this and this in there. So I want to say hello. Give him a great gift. Um, chat. Okay, three days and we can have that done. Awesome. I do have another watering can just there, just in case. Ah, uh, what else do we have? That can go there, or oh, much of it can. I need to go back down and get some more, um, copper and stuff, I think, from down in this other mine over here. See what, um, see what Yulaf has available today. Um, church, we can't afford, we've got the clockmaker or the town hall. Not sure what the clockmaker does, but I think we'll wait. I think we'll get the, the church next. I don't, it doesn't really matter which one we go with next, but uh, grab some of these berries while we're here. Waiting on these ones because I've been making, as you can see here, berry medley. Now that's meant to be obviously the fishing hole, which is something different. I don't understand why it's so small and that sort of thing, but yep, it is what it is. Uh, we have got the. What's that? That's a general store. We've got the cafe built. As you can see, Lara's Cafe open every day from 9.30 to 5. Which is good. Um, we don't really need to go in there though at the moment. Uh, what else can we do? We've got some trees here we need to harvest. So Some of these guys have been growing as you can see. But then some aren't. These guys obviously aren't growing because these ones are sort of massive. But these ones... I wonder if I had any iron. These ones, um, 
are growing as well, but then down here is not growing. So I don't know if it's the wall that's causing an issue as well, or not. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so the, I'm trying to get off the bike here. The copper axe isn't bad, but it's not great. It does take a while, but we need to use it to get it to level up. I want to jump on that one in the completely the wrong spot. Probably going to have to get rid of that and throw that into our inventory because we're going to have to jump up a little bit higher, I think, to get some more of this wood. See, there's going to be like ones like that that we can't actually reach. Right, get that one. I wonder if that's the last one for over there. Should be. that, there's one there. It's just hard to see if there's any more. Yep, one there. Or is that the next tree? Oh, that's part of this tree. Really is hard to see. There we go. There's some more there. I want to grab some of these bushes too, because I've got an idea for the setup with all of our berry bushes. But, I mean, the berries, the only reason why I'm going to keep these berry bushes around is for the berry medley. Just for something different as far as food goes to, you know, help us, help us just not be so hungry all the time. At the moment we're doing pretty good, like our food is full and, um, is it the sustenance or something? It is completely, or just about full now, I think it's dropped a little bit, but that is pretty good. We can get a good mix of food. I know I've got to try and get some more bird meat and that sort of stuff. When I was over at um, the zombie spawner over there, I did hear a cow. But now I can't find it. And they're not meant to spawn in this world, so I don't know where the cow noise came from, but it was definitely a cow. Um, what is all the rest of this? There's no wood there. That's obviously attached to that tree. There's nothing attached to that one. Some of this is weird, but the good thing about these oak trees is we get um, apples as well, so that's obviously a bonus. Right, so much stuff laying on the ground over here. Let's try and pick all this up. Um, that I'm going to throw into the bin. Some more saplings. So I don't know if it matters where they go, but I'm just going to put a, a row on both sides and see what happens. Right, let's jump back on our bike. I think we'll, um, we've got some things in our inventory to sell, but not much. I think fishing would be good. Um, and the, the Caitlin, is it Caitlin? The old lady from the cafe in there sells a Matic which is 50,000 I think it is, but it knocks out a 3x3 three three block um, when when you're using it. So, Jacob, what are you doing down here? Watching my game, Jacob is my name. Okay, w would you take hooked fish as a gift? Yep, good. So, shop, what has he got? Normal fishing rod. Iron fishing rod. Golden fishing rod. Diamond fishing rod, the automatic fishing net, which is pretty cool, 75,000. Alluring fish hook. Alright, not the best stuff, but it's alright, I guess. Um, got some dirt on us still. Alright, I want to take one full stack. Can we make any more? I think we can make some more medley. Okay, keep those in our inventory. Um, Apple and sweet potato. So we could either go mining now or we could just potentially have a sleep. But as I said, I came through here and upgraded. Still got one diamond pickaxe ready to go. Let's check our book. Uh, build the cafe. Did the fishing hole and the fishing hut. Um, buy a soul cage, get a fishing rod, which I've already done that. Um, buy a diamond fishing rod, get a full set of Neptune armor. A golden apple juice, make an elven trade using 
Britannia, Britannia. Okay, build a forestry multi-block farm. Um, okay, so let's go farm. I don't know. Egg incubator. Egg identifier. Farm block. Farm gearbox. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Or how it would even work. There's plenty of farm hatches and gearboxes and all that sort of stuff, but poultry farm. Blueprint poultry farm. I don't know. I know there is in here, if we come into here, go book. There are some books we can make. Um, big writing book. Empty recipe book. Can we make that recipe? No, we can't make that. What about a writing book? We can make that. Uh, an ender book. Create a new book. Getting started. Summon the Harvest Goddess, a recipe book, achievement book. Okay, I thought there was a few other books like engineers books and stuff, but not a hundred percent sure. But anyway, let's um head back to sleep. See what the new day brings. See if there's anything ready to harvest. Hey, did you seriously stand there all night and watch me sleep? You're a sad, sad man. Um, we're really going to need to get some more wood. Got plenty of stone, as you can see, because of our pickaxe and stuff. There's some cooked bird meat, that's good. Still, still raining. Is that the baby zombie over here? Where did you spawn? You little bugger. Must have spawned here somewhere. Very little light here. Look in here. I don't know what the button is to bring up um, the light telling you where things are going to spawn or where they're not going to spawn. I know there is a button for it, but I can't remember what it is. I don't want to hit the wrong button and destroy something. Alright, so there's Granny Caitlin, or Catlin. There's a skeleton. Ooh, little bugger, a skeleton. Right, I'm gonna put a torch up there. Torch here. I'm still getting too many things spawning around here. Which isn't good. Oh, there we go, there's an eggplant and a spider. Come on. There we go, one hit. One hit wonder. Where are they spawning? Literally have no idea. I don't want that. Get out of our hand again. Let's harvest all these eggplants. It's going to bring in a good amount of money for us, hopefully. And obviously it's going to get watered by itself. Let's try not to get stung by these bees. Again, they're probably not going to be out during the rain. So we did go down and get the rest of those diamonds um, that I showed you guys, I think, at the end of last episode. Do have a fair amount of diamonds now, which is really good. Not having to worry too much about that anymore, I don't think, at the moment. Um, I'd like to go to the Nether as well, go back there and try and find some more ores. I want to get some more glowstone because I'd like to put glowstone all the way through the village somehow, um, just to brighten it up a fair bit and try and stop stop mobs from spawning and stuff. Any more that I've missed? I don't think so. Um, flint. Let's grab our watering can. Let's fill this one back up. This is yeah the original one, so it's only going to do one block. All right, let's just harvest all this. So that's going to be a double harvest today, which is really good to an extent. Some of these aren't ready to harvest, as you can see, but we should make a good amount of money tonight once we actually go to sleep when midnight hits I think I have to actually head back into that um, village as well and see if we can find some trades I need to try and find someone that 
with a mending book, which would be really good for our, obviously our diamond pickaxe. Watered. Unfortunately, it's going to take longer than normal because we don't have our normal watering can. Alright, there we go. Get my sword back in my hand. It's just easier to have your sword in your hand and right click than anything else. We missed some there too. Did we already get those? I don't think we did. It's a little bit weird. I know we can get a sprinkler. Um, which would be really cool if we could. And I think they, they do like a nine by nine, which would make it so much easier to be able to come through and just water. We won't even have to water. Just have to make sure it's got a water source available and um, it'll do it automatically for us. So we just come through and harvest, we don't even have to do anything anymore. I think that's gonna take a little while. We have to get um, the Deniru up to him actually loving us before that'll actually happen, so it's a fair way away. Right, can we get cooked salmon as well? Look at that, beautiful. Can hear spiders again. Where do we leave our bike? I always leave it somewhere. Did I leave it around the back here somewhere? No. Maybe where the baby zombie was, maybe. I could see it on the map or press a button and oh we left it at home we didn't even bring it out that doesn't help does it right so we're going to get this completely full today which is really good we should bring in heaps of money by tomorrow uh, let's run down and see if Deniru 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 is here today here he is Right, great gift ideas. What else does he have? Um, I haven't done anything with the cows and, and that. I don't really care to be honest. I don't know if I can make my own shears, so I don't want to buy those. Um, nothing that I really want or need, I guess. Let's throw the flint back into there. Take that back out of there. Can't actually do anything with that at the moment. Can make some more bone meal, which is good. That will come in handy. Need to fix that, but... Ah, bloody creepers, I swear. They're really, really annoying. Right. Let's try and... There we go. Get some of those to grow. Boom, there we go. That's good. We've got some, is there some more holes around here? I think there's some other holes I haven't quite filled yet. I'd like to fill this thing completely. But I'd like to also get all of the sand out of it too. Get there. I want to get all the sand out because that way I can actually smelt some more glass again. get out of the water, that would be even better. Beautiful, there we go, let's start to grab some of this sand. I'm going to need to make a new diamond shovel, but I also want to try and enchant it as well, so if we can get a few more levels, I'd be happy. So if we can get rid of this sand here in this water area, this can be another spot for another build, so that's the, well that's probably the only reason behind it. Well the main reason, but the other reason is I guess so we can get some more sand. Future greenhouses and other stuff like that. So I've got an idea what I want to do for the berries, but I don't know how it's going to work. Sort of having it, um, like the berries placed on top of each other so they're three high. Um, but then have it so there's wood coming up the sides and over the top and then in between two rows have some just normal 
like bushes from trees and stuff, I think would be a good idea. Um, let's grab a spruce wood. Couple make some sticks so we can make a diamond shovel and see what we can do with an enchantment. Probably not a great deal, but grab some lapis. Where's our table? There it is. Right there. Um, where's it? There and there. I'm breaking and magnet. I'm breaking will do. I guess it means it'll last a little bit longer, but would have preferred. Um, what do we call it? Efficiency. Just a bit, bit more efficiency just to dig a little bit quicker would have been even better, but... Unbreaking will work. So I've got to fill this whole area back in with dirt, but I won't do that with you guys here. It'll obviously be extremely boring for you guys, but... Let's get all this sand... ...dug up. Awesome. I'll just fill in a little bit. While we've got some dirt in our hands. There we go. Got any more? No, we've got nothing else on us. Alright, so let's head back in. Let's grab these berries before we go to, to bed. Probably... Yeah, they're probably the most important ones, I guess. We don't have many of those. And the blueberry ones, we need to make... Um, that a little bit bigger. Let's throw that into there. Um, no. Oh, we've got heaps of glass in there. What else do we have in here that we don't really... Junk ore we probably don't really need. So let's just resort that. There we go. We can sell the junk ore. Right, let's um, go to sleep. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Day 11 of autumn. I think most of winter we'll spend... Um... Still raining? It's still raining. Far out. Most of winter we'll probably spend mining and that sort of stuff, and potentially building, but... Should have made some shears while we're at home. Let's have a bit of a look. Um, nothing in there needs to be done. We have a watering can. It's at 100%, so we can upgrade this one too. Can't see anything that's spawned, so that's good. Why is there big plants here? Uh, 39,278, I didn't even look at that. We made a huge amount of money last night, which is good. So I think we're going to need to go and certainly chop down some trees and try and get to the next level. Or the next, the, get the next building built, I should say. Oh, no. water, thank you. It's a little bit annoying that we missed a few of those, but keep them for food. I think we can, I don't know if we can craft a lunchbox or buy a lunchbox. I'll have a look, because that's really what we need to do as far as the food goes. Ah, uh, let's go. Oop. Lunch. Lunch bag. Board at the cafe. Board at the cafe. Okay, so we need to go to the cafe and obviously buy that. Um, twice, so we don't need those. Let's have an apple and some berries, I think. We'll head towards the cafe and see what time it opens. I did plant some wheat down there too, because I want to use some wheat to make uh, bread and stuff, to have bread as just extra food for us. I will grab these berries while we're here. Like I said, I want to have a huge, huge setup of berries for us to go and be able to get whenever. 9.30 every day? At 9.30 to 5? Hey, Daenerys. One day. Um, hey, how about... No, sorry. I don't want to... Uh, it's alright. Okay, well, better than nothing. I could have gave you nothing instead. Ah, uh, hello, Jim. Yep, I know about that. I don't even care about the animals, to be honest, at the moment. Don't really make much money. Um, welcome to my cafe. I'm Liara, the owner. Here we show a true passion for cooking and bring you the best food you can well, you can find. Bring you the best food you can find. I mean, you can find. 
I'm happy to teach you how to cook if you don't know. Um, do you need to learn? I do. Well, that's just awesome. I'm happy to teach you. To get started, you're going to need some sort of utensils. The most basic one would be a kitchen counter in combo with a knife. You'll also need to know how to prepare a recipe. You can buy a bunch from me, but here's a pickled turnip to start with. You'll just have to add it to your knowledge. Right click. To see it, just grab yourself a recipe book, select the utensil and the recipe. You'll then be able to see a list of items on the right hand side that you will need. If you have the ingredients and the utensils in place, clicking cook will place all the ingredients into the utensil. It should then start cooking. Unless you're using a counter, of course, then you'll need to chop with the right click instead. If you need additional cookware, I'm happy to sell them to you, but they're only available at weekends. One last thing, the recipes are in, in the book are very basics. You should try experimenting and something. Okay. You're not open yet. Right, so she, ooh, kitchen counter and a knife. Um, and a recipe book. Alright, so the utensils, we've got nothing. That in our hand? No, nope. nothing there. What's this? Ah, pickled turnip recipe. Sorry, kitchen counter, pickled turnip. We need just a turnip. Right, interesting. Um, no, she doesn't open until 9 30, I don't think. There we go. Dinner's up. So, cookies, pineapple juice, salad, already got a recipe book, kitchen counter, oven and toasted rice balls. A fridge and an oven, there's the lunch box. Use while sneaking to open. What's the difference? I don't know, we'll buy that for now. Um, ultimate furnace, what do they do? Interesting. That is one million dollars. Right, so bunch box. Okay. Um, how do we? How do we put things in there? Like this? No. Aha, like that, okay. Fish, that, um, that. Oh, it only takes two of everything. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Um, that, that, and that. It's just a little bit of everything, I guess. I wonder if the lunch bag's any bigger. Probably not. But I think... If we have, like, a food chest at home... Potentially, we can just click on that and it should just fill it up. Alright, come down to here. Um, grab some of this stuff out. We've got some bowls in there. Let's throw some food into there. Um, Alright, throw that into there. Actually, no, it's not what I wanted to do. Copper ore into there. Um, that can go, that can go. So kitchen counter and stuff, we don't really have any way to put all this stuff, I guess. So let's just put it there for now. Right, throw that and that in there. Some extra glass, which we throw into there. So if we come over to here and go... I don't know if there's a way that we can... Maybe if we just right click? I'm not sure. No, it needs to be open for us to eat. Okay, cool. Alright, I think I've got that sorted. Um, let's have a look. I want to grab some stone. And we need to head over and grab some wood, I think, to get our next building sort it out if we can afford it. So a church or a clock make 120 or 160 so we're going to need plenty of wood. I'll grab some more of these blueberries. While we're here there's some holes here we haven't filled in yet from stupid creepers. God, frustrating. Well, I might change axes just because this tree is so bloody big. 
So jump up, hit the one in front of you, and then the two above, and you should be able to continue to go all the way around, all the way to the top. Still need some more levels to be able to enchant this sort of thing, like an efficiency four for this would be awesome. And maybe unbreaking, that's probably all we really need for an axe. I don't know of anything else that would really be helpful. Just want to get it done. You wouldn't want auto smelt. I wonder if I can go like that. It does, it gives you charcoal. That's interesting. It does take us forever to, you know, obviously break the wood, but that is pretty cool if you want a heap of charcoal. I think we're right at the top. Yep, there we go. If you stand right in the middle, you should be able to just go like this. Go this the whole way down. All the way back to the bottom. Keep an eye on that time. I don't want to be out too late just in case. You never know. Uh, I'll say we've literally got no saplings. Got hardly any saplings out of that, which is interesting. We got 64, so we need a little bit more. One stack and a little bit we got, so let's get a whole nother tree. I think that may be enough. Try and get this before it gets too dark, but autumn, it just seems to rain a lot in autumn. It really does. I don't know if we can grow anything at all in winter, but I hope that wheat's ready to go before um, the end of end of autumn. I think I brought it early enough. I certainly want to get um, some bread made and stuff. It's going to help add to a variety of us being able to, well, a variety of food for us, which is going to be good. Right, there we go. It's all the way to the top again. Stand right in the middle. Do this. It's the quickest way down. Well, the quickest way I've found anyway. Except for jumping. Which, we don't really want to do that. How do we go with saplings this time? Hopefully we've got some... Some more than we did last time we have, I think. Thank God for that. Alright. Pull these back in. Yeah, we should have enough. Awesome. Alright, that should be... Yeah, that should be plenty. Let's quickly get on our bike and head back. I think he shuts it. 1700. Bang. Uh, yes. Clockmaker or the church? Can we get the church first? We can, good. Right, now the church. Where are we going to put this? Maybe... Like, up on top of the hill up here. There's not much up here, but I reckon... Could have this so it's sort of overlooking. Let's get off our bike, have this so it's overlooking everything. Um, let's knock some of this out. It's gravel. Alright, try that back to there, let's have a look. We have this up here and build some stairs to it. I think that'll be awesome. Something unique and have it so it has like a good view of the whole the whole place. Obviously we have to build a good good stair system to get to the top. Um alright, well let's throw this away. Anything else we've got in there? Any other stone, dirt? Also we have some of that and some granite, which I think I might have some more in there. Limestone. What's the uses for that? Just limestone, polished limestone, limestone slabs. Um, I don't even know how to use those, to be honest. I did buy that, and that's just stupid, so that can go. I don't even care about that at all. So charcoal. Let's throw a charcoal in there. Coal. 
Plenty of glass, plenty of... Ah, oh, damn it. Plenty of iron. Got... Yeah, got a little bit of iron in there. Glass, we can throw into here. Try not to throw it anywhere else. Um, get rid of that. What else can we get rid of? Diamond axe, we'll keep that on us, but we can go and throw that down in here. Just to get it out of the way. Um, got some sticks, let's have a look. Not going to get a very high level, but let's see what we can get. Uh, throw that into there. Efficiency 2. That'll do. And then obviously when we make another one. Actually, none of these have been... I throw it into there. We've got efficiency 1. It's really not going to help if we join them together. Unbreaking. Right, so what's that got? Unbreaking and efficiency 1. So if we go into here and go... That with unbreaking, efficiency 2, and unbreaking. If I put that in there, it will give us efficiency 2, so no real bonus. That is probably not too bad. I know it does use some of our levels, but I'm really not that worried about it at the moment. Actually, we need to go. Boom, we've got some copper. Actually, no, we can't put anything in there. Let's throw some of this food in there. God, this place is just full. That can go in the bin. That can go in the bin. Those can go into there. That can go into the bin. I'm not worried about that. Um, where's our shovel gone? Did we break our shovel or did I throw it somewhere? There it is. Why do I keep doing that? Have a look and see what we can get out of this. Uh, nothing. Because I've already done it. Never mind. That's the only one that we haven't done yet. Flame string. Experience boost. Aqua infinite. Can we actually... So that's probably not a bad thing. If we go there and there. Is that not how we do it? I thought that was how we did it. Oh, okay, well, I don't want that. I want it on the sword, but... Uh, that's probably not going to hurt. Do that, because I'm going to cut down a whole heap of trees, so it's not going to hurt too much, I don't think. Alright, I think we'll... um. Still got rail tracks here, I didn't even realise. I think we'll end the episode here, guys, so... Huge thank you for you guys for watching and supporting the series so far. Um, really been enjoying playing it. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying watching it. And um, yeah, it's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.